Hello friend, I am Abhishek Pandey and I am working as an OIC consultant at Coven Consulting India Private Limited. Today, I would like to discuss the usage of the conditional loop in OIC. To demonstrate the conditional loop, we have already created an integration called test loop test. In this integration, we will check the conditions and print the value in logs. So now let's get started. So in this integration, we have created one variable. In this variable, we have created one uh, number value in that we are passing the number value, which is 10. So, so that in the while condition, we will check until the number value is less uh, greater than zero, then the while loop logic will execute else the while, uh, while condition will not execute. So in this way, first it will check the input number in the while loop. Is it greater than zero? If yes, then it will print the number in the log. Now in the log, it will, we are just uh, printing the number value with the concatenation number as a string and whatever the value will be there like in the number it will print there so once the while loop once the condition is true it will come to be here in the logger and then after printing the logger what we are doing we are just updating the number the input number which we have given 10 now we are reducing with one so it will check until unless the number is greater than zero and once the every time it will come in the loop and reduces by one once it will completed the loop condition failed then it will come to the switch here we are just assigning the variable name creating one variable assigning the value so now let's see that the integration run Active the integration. Now our integration has been active. Now submit now. Submit. Now go to the track instance. Here our integration is running right now. Let's check. Now as we see that here we are assigning the uh, variable and in the while loop here we have started the while loop which is showing that the iteration has 10. Now it will start it from the 10 if you see that the number first number is 10 and it's updating the value. So every time it's updating the value. If you see that here the number five, six. So it's update the value. And once the while condition has been true, it uh, failed. Its execution is over while execution. Now it's come to the switch condition. And in the switch condition, it's checking the number and it's assigning the value. That's it all in the while loop conditional loop. Thank you for joining.